What if you could have your iPad look exactly the way you want it to based upon how you're using the iPad? That's what focus modes are all about. Recently, I made a video on how to set up focus modes on your iPhone. I'll include a link in the description below if you're interested in that. Today, though, is all about how to set up focus modes on your iPad. For me, focus modes are all about productivity and enjoying my iPad every time I pick it up. By the way, setting these up, it's a lot easier than what you think. Hi, my name is Rich. I make simple videos on how to use your iPad and iPhone without going nuts. You know, I try to live a simple life, but honestly, when it comes to my iPad, there's always a bunch of apps all over the home screen. And when I try to do one thing, I often get distracted by another thing. Or sometimes I can't even find what I'm looking for. So a few years ago, I began cleaning up my home screen and leaving all the apps in the app library with nothing on the home screen except the dock. And that's worked pretty well. And then focus modes came along and I decided to figure out how to set them up and how to use them. And I've never looked back. So there's a simple five-step process to get this up and running. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to determine the focus mode purpose. And this is kind of important. You wanna do this first. Then I'll show you how to create new wallpapers for each focus mode how to create a new home screen for each focus mode, how to create your new focus modes, and then lastly, how to customize each focus mode. And of course, I'll show you how to choose the focus mode you want to use. I really hope you'll stick with me because this thing, this is doable. All right, let's get started. Okay, the first thing I wanna talk about is just determining what your focus modes are. You know, I tried fiddling around with setting them up and I'd create one and it didn't really do what I wanted it to do. Finally, I sat down with a piece of paper and I just kind of wrote out, what do I wanna do on the iPad and what focus modes do I want? So I'm gonna show you what I created for today's video. And you can see this. I just created a little worksheet you don't have to do this, but for purposes of this video, I wanted to show you what I do. So here you can see I decided I wanted a productivity focus mode, a journaling focus mode, an entertainment focus mode, and then a YouTube focus mode. And by the way, that YouTube is my YouTube channel, not YouTube videos. I've also put in here some other things that we'll go over uh, as we set those up. And then I also said, what apps do I want to use in each one of these focus modes? And that's really important. For example, in productivity, I'm including calendar, reminders, notes, files, mail, and then a clock, because I like to have a clock on each home screen. And I've done that for each one of these, and we'll get into that in just a minute. But that's step number one, in my opinion, is just to sit down and sort of figure out what do you want a focus mode to actually do. All right, once you've determined how many focus modes you want, for me, I decided to create a unique home screen for each focus mode. So let me show you how I did that. So if you go to your iPad and you swipe down from the top, that'll bring you to your lock screen. And if you tap and press, you can add home screens. And I've added a number of home screens already of just different colors. So I'm setting up four different ones today. And I've set up a color there, a different color there, another color there. And now I'm going to add the fourth one. And this will just show you how I did it. I chose color. And I think I'll choose this color. And I think I'll... Let's see, I'll swipe to get it to where I want it. How about that one? And then I'm gonna click Add, and I'll tap Set as Wallpaper, and that's it. And now I've got one, two, three, four. And then I have a wallpaper for just my home screen when no focus mode is on, just the basic home screen. So we'll start with that. So that's step number one is creating each one of those wallpapers for however many focus modes you have. Okay, the next thing you have to do is actually create home screens for each one of the unique focus modes. 
So as you can see right now, I have just my basic home screen. I've got my dock down here at the bottom. And by the way, the dock never changes from focus mode to focus mode. So I only keep critical apps that I want to use all the time in the dock. So what I've done to save some time in this video is I've already created some folders here with the apps that I'm going to use. For example, this is productivity, journaling, entertainment, and YouTube. So now I'm going to create a new home screen. And if you notice, I have just a home screen here. And then if you swipe, you get straight into the app library. I'm going to take this out of the dock and I'm going to slide it over and I'm going to let go. And then I'm going to tap up here because I want to add a clock. And I'm going to click Add Widget. Then I'm going to open this up and I'm going to take each one of these out so that my productivity apps are no longer in the folder. Like that. And now I have my productivity home screen. If you notice, we go back. I've got my original home screen. And now I've got a productivity home screen. And now I'm going to create yet another home screen for journaling. And I only have one app for that. So I'm going to slide day one out. I'm going to slide it over to the edge and create a new home screen. And I'm going to tap and I'm going to add a clock again because that's what I like to do. And now that home screen is done. So now we have the original one with nothing on there, my productivity, my journaling. Now I'm going to add yet another one. This is going to be for entertainment. I'm going to slide it over and let go. I'm going to add a clock because, again, I like having a clock. And I'm going to take these out. Just like this, these are my entertainment apps. And now I've got my entertainment home screen, my journaling, my productivity, and my basic one. So now I'm going to create one last home screen. And this is going to be my YouTube channel home screen. I'm going to pull this out of the dock. I'm going to slide over. I'm going to add a clock. And then I'm going to open this up. And I'm going to pull these apps out. These are the apps I use to manage my YouTube channel. And now I've got all of my home screens completed. And that is how you create your home screens. So the next thing we need to actually do is create the focus modes. We've already created the lock screens and home screens, and then we've created the put the apps on each one of the home screens that we want. So now we're going to create the focus modes. And how you do that is you swipe down into Control Center, and you click on Focus. And if you'll notice, I have only one focus mode here. And if you've not done this before, you may have a whole bunch of pre-built focus modes that come with your iPad. I didn't want any of those focus modes, so I actually went into Settings. I went to Focus, and it, you'll have your focus modes here. You can tap on them, scroll down, and then tap Delete Focus Mode. And that's what I did. I left the Do Not Disturb because I still want that one. So now I'm going to actually create our focus modes, and you slide down into Control Center. I'm going to tap on Focus, tap the plus. We're going to choose Custom. I think I'm going to choose this as a color. That color is good. And that is my icon. Now I'm going to name it. And I'm going to name it Productivity. I'm going to slide down. I'm going to click Next. I'm going to tap Customize Focus Mode, although I'm not going to do that just yet. We'll come back to that in a minute. And so I've created a Productivity Focus. Now I'm going to go back. I'm going to come back again. Tap on Focus. I'm going to hit the plus. 
I'm going to do custom and I'm going to choose this color I'll choose a pencil and this one will be journal I'll click next customize focus mode and now we're done with that one now I'm going to slide down and go to focus again I'm going to hit plus I'm going to do custom this one is going to be we'll make that green we'll make it the books and we'll call this one entertainment we'll click next customize and now we'll make one last one so we've got entertainment journal productivity and we're going to create one last one and we're going to call this one make that one that color we'll call it YouTube and we will choose people for that one we'll click next customize and now we've got our various focus modes entertainment journal productivity and YouTube and now we've created the focus modes all right the last part here is to actually customize these focus modes to do what you want this is where the magic sauce comes in so I'm gonna go into productivity that's the first one we created and I'm gonna choose the people that I want to be able to reach me in the event that they need to. So with a focus mode, you can block out everything or you can let certain people through. So you can put silence notifications up here, which means nobody gets silenced except the people you list, or you can just tap allow notifications from, and I'm going to allow them from my wife, and my daughter and I'm going to click done and if you'll notice on this sheet that I had people allowed is my wife and my daughter and that's where we had so now we click next choose calls to allow and we're going to choose allowed people only which is my wife and then we're going to click choose done so now you can see that the people allowed are my wife and daughter now we're going to choose the apps that can get through to me if they need to. Um, in this case, it's not going to be Amazon. It's not going to be day one or FaceTime, but I will allow a message to come through. And now I'll click done. And now if somebody sends me an important text message, that will come through. Then I'm going to choose now the screens. And this is where it gets really good. So I'm going to see, here are the, the lock screens we chose. So I'm going to choose this color for my productivity lock screen. I'm going to choose done. And in a second, it will come up right there. And then I'm going to choose the home screen that I want. And I know that this one, I can see the apps right up here. This is my productivity home screen. So I'm going to choose that, and I'm going to choose done. And that's it. So the productivity focus is done. And now I'm going to do the same thing with journaling. I will choose people. Uh, my wife. And my daughter. Again, only allowed people. Done. Then I'm going to choose my apps. I'm going to choose messages and I'm going to choose done I'm going to choose my home screen and this time I'm going to choose this color and I'm going to click done let it populate there we go now I'm going to choose this and I know this is my journaling so I'm going to choose that now I'm done and now I've taken care of that one now we'll go to entertainment people 
same as before. Next, only allowed people. Done. I'm going to choose my apps. I don't know why it keeps wanting to have Amazon come through, but I don't want Amazon. Just messages. Done. Now I'm going to choose my home screen. And it'll be this one. I'll choose done. Now I'm going to choose my entertainment. Choose that one. Choose done. And now we'll do the last one, YouTube. And I don't want anybody, when I'm messing with YouTube, to get through. I don't want any apps because I need my quiet time while I'm doing it. So we'll choose the red screen. Done. And then we'll choose the YouTube apps there. We'll choose done. And that's it. So here we are. We've still got all of these home screens right here. But if we go to focus modes, we go to focus, and now we go to productivity, it changes. And just like that, I have just the app library, and I have my productivity apps up here. If I want to go back to, say, the YouTube one, now it changes colors and I get the YouTube apps that I want. Same thing with entertainment, changes colors and my entertainment apps are up there. And the same thing with journaling, changes colors and I have my one uh, app for day one for journaling up there. And I don't have any other distractions going on. Now if I want to turn that off and go back to my home screen, I can just tap that and now I'm back to my home screen. But if you'll notice, all of these home screens are here. And before on my home screen, I just wanted that. I didn't want all this. So how you get rid of that is you tap on these dots at the bottom and then you uncheck the ones that you don't want to see. I don't want to see these four right here that I just made. And now I'm done. And just like that, now I'm back to my nice home screen or I can choose a focus mode and I can do that. And I have my focus mode for YouTube or I can turn it off by tapping it and now I'm back to my home screen. And that's how you set up focus modes on your iPad. You can be just as creative as you want to be, but once you get the hang of doing this, you're just going to love it. Okay, that was a lot, I know. If you got lost in there, just go back and watch the video again until you get the hang of setting up focus modes. However much time it takes to learn how to set up a simple focus mode will more than pay dividends down the road, I promise. Okay, that's it for today's tutorial. Thanks so much for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the next video.